do I think it's worth it? Is it worth the money? It's a lot of money to spend on a computer. So do I really think it's worth it? Hey, I'm Tanya and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. I hope you stick around by hitting that subscribe button down below and hitting the bell to be notified of when I upload, which is every single week. So for today's video, I am doing my three month update on my MacBook Air 2020. So I got this MacBook for my birthday back in May. I purchased it myself for my birthday as a little treat to myself and I got it from the Apple website and I used the education discount. So I think this cost me about 1100 euro or so. I will have a little look and I will have the total amount on the screen because I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head but I think it was about 1100 euro and I got the gold one. So if you haven't seen my unboxing of this I will have it linked in the cards above so definitely make sure you go and check that out to see me unbox it and set it up and everything. So let's just jump into the review. I got the 13 inch MacBook Air 2020 and it's the the i3 processor and it's the 258 gigabyte memory. So this is the one I got and I got it in the gold color which is a lot more rose gold in person than it shows up online. Online it shows up a lot more gold but in person it is definitely a rose gold which I'm not mad about. I love rose gold. It's my favorite color. Also do not mind the lack of polish on one of my fingers. I had acrylic nails on and I ripped one um, and damaged my own nails so I haven't bothered putting product on it but do not mind that if it bothers you I'm sorry but yes getting back to the laptop I use this pretty much every single day for everything so I stream on it I watch YouTube on it I do work on it so I do a lot of social media work I do editing I edit my videos I edit my thumbnails I edit pictures everything on this bad boy so one of the questions that I got a lot on my unboxing video was does it overheat so so for the first couple of uses that I had my MacBook, it did not overheat. It was perfectly fine. Um, but lately it has started to overheat and I don't know if that's because the memory has been used up like I have a lot of videos saved on it and things like that so maybe it's a memory issue maybe once I clear some of the memory it won't overheat as much but as soon as I turn it on now you can hear the fans clicking straight away they start to work that lasts for a couple of seconds and then it's fine and I work away so when I first turn it on I kind of leave it for about 10 seconds before I do anything just to let it kind of start up itself and then it's working perfectly with editing so I use iMovie on it it works perfectly fine the only time it overheats is if I'm trying to do a lot of things at once so normally when I am editing and I'm using iMovie that's the only thing I have open I don't have Google open I don't have anything open I just have iMovie open I find even sometimes with YouTube when I'm actually uploading a video it overheats as well and um, so the fans kick in it's really really noisy not not really noisy like my old laptop was extremely noisy this one's kind of like a soft humming but it starts to get a little bit faster and you know the fans are kicking in you know the fans are really really working so that is kind of how it's overheating just when I'm doing things that kind of take a little bit more effort to do such as uploading YouTube videos editing that kind of thing but once I just have the one thing open it works perfectly fine so that's how it's been working I know that was one of the geek questions that I got asked a lot so for that reason I would recommend upgrading for the extra hundred dollars to the i5 if you can spare it upgrade to the i7 it'd be a little bit better even um so i do kind of wish i got the i5 but i still it's still a great little laptop i still love it and i still use it all the time so another thing is i am going to be heading back to college in september so i am going to be using this a lot for projects and processing and creating documents and things like that so i'll be interested to see how it lasts for schoolwork but I think using it for schoolwork and work work things like that it works perfectly fine I think it's just when you're doing more strenuous things such as video editing and things like that it can overheat a little bit so do I recommend it so like I said I love the laptop it does overheat a little bit that is the only issue I have come across with the laptop so other than that I absolutely love it I am so happy I bought it um but like I said I would have if I was to buy it again I would upgrade 
to the i5 processor and maybe the 500 gig memory i think is the next one i'm not entirely sure but i'm going to open it now and see can you hear the fans turn on so let's try so do not mind all of the mess here i wasn't planning on showing this angle but let's just do it anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up the laptop so it turns on and you can hear the fans kick in as soon as we get onto the home screen. So let's see if you can hear the fans kick in once it loads up the home screen. So hopefully you guys heard that, but you also heard it literally lasted all of five seconds and then it just stopped. So that, so that is pretty much it. So would I recommend the MacBook Air 2020 or would I upgrade to the MacBook Pro? I personally love my MacBook. I do think it was well worth the money. Like I said, if I was to do it again, I'd upgrade to the i5 processor, but it's not a big issue for me. Like I say, I don't do a lot of crazy stuff on it and the MacBook Pro just wasn't something I needed. So I was really happy with my purchase of the MacBook Air. Plus I really wanted the gold one and the MacBook Pro doesn't come in gold. So, so that also swayed my decision. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this review. Definitely, if you're looking for a computer just to do kind of everyday stuff on, this is definitely a great one to use. If you're looking for something to do a little bit more work and stuff that takes a little bit more effort, then definitely upgrade to either the i5 processor or the i7 processor. Or if you have the money, definitely splash out and get the Mac. Pro. but for me this is absolutely perfect and I am still absolutely in love with it and use it every single day and I will be for years until this literally dies on me I am going to keep using it so guys I hope you enjoyed that video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next on my channel I am also thinking of doing a how to customize your MacBook so if you want to see that definitely leave this video a like and I will chat to you all in my next video. Bye guys.